Hey guys, welcome back to Video Figure Unboxing. If you're finding me for the first time, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the SH Figure Arts Comrade of Bill Rapid Tank form. And I'm a really big fan for Comrade of Bill. Um, I just like the story, I like all the designs, everything looks really, really good. And it seems like they're doing pretty well. Um, they're gonna come up with a lot more. But anyways, I'm already late to the party, so I'm just gonna quickly go over this. Um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And let's not waste any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figures still in the inner packaging, and let's check out the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from SH Figure Arts, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here. I love the metallic paint, I like the uh, metallic plastic they use on the eyes in a bottle, everything looks very very good. And I'm really scared at this point, because I know the line is doing really well like I talked about earlier, so... We can expect to see a lot more, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go all in for the line, cause it's gonna be a lot once they start releasing like all the writers, right? I think I'm gonna go all in for all the writers, but not necessarily the utility form, cause some of them has really weird design in my opinion. But anyways, um, let's take a closer look at the figure. Um, everything is very nicely painted and sculpted. It looks really, really good. And yeah, um, let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. Um, he can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn his head no problem. And the shoulder is on a standard ball joint. You do have a little bit of a pull-out method, so you can like pull it out a little bit. And you can raise his arm up about this much. You do have bicep swivel and curl about this much, and you do have the ball wrist. And for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, um, which is not a lot due to the design. You can bend backwards about this much, have some pretty good side to side movement. And for the driver, um, you can play with this um, pretty cool. And you can take out a bottle if you want to as well. And the lower body, um, it's using the older design, which I think works pretty well specifically for this figure. And you can pull down about this much, kick about this high, bend about this much, thigh swivels, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And the only complaint people have in terms of articulation is the foot over here. But it won't really lean backwards because of the design here. Personally, it doesn't bother me, but I can see that being a problem. Um, it does hinder a lot uh, when you try to do running poses. But yeah, anyways, I believe that's it for the articulation, and let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, first off, we get a pair of display open hands, and these are really common for common rider figures. And next up, we get another pair of display open hands. And lastly, we get one right hand to hold the driver over here. And the articulation actually works pretty well, so you can play with it like that. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, um, that's it for the accessories, and let's check out some action poses. Anyways, um, that was just some quick posing, and I hope you guys enjoy them, and let's check out some size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Kamen Rider SH Fig Arts, and of course they look amazing together. And after I finish this, I think I'm gonna review Night Rogue, so keep your eye out for that. And next up, we have some SH Fig Arts Dragon Ball figures. And then we have some Naruto SH Fig Arts figures. Some Street Fighters SH Fig Arts. And then we have some American IP SH Fig Arts. And then we have some Mesco 112 Collective figures. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I definitely recommend the figure. Um, beautiful paintwork, amazing sculpt. Um, even though he doesn't come with a lot of accessories, um, given the price, I think it's okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the bike and a weapon combo pack, but we'll see. But anyways, I think that's it from me. Um, definitely get this if you're a big fan, but this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.